What's going on guys? In today's video, we're gonna talk about Roku streaming services and why I think this is a very undervalued stock. So, you might be looking at this price right now and say, Louis, 279 bucks, that's pretty expensive. Yes, it does kind of seem expensive, but I'm gonna tell you why I think it's still undervalued. So first off, I'm gonna give you the bad news. Why did this stock go from this right here, $400, to this right here, $275? Bucks? So I think that a lot of people overreacted when the earnings came out because they did miss on revenue. That's a fact. But you gotta look at some of the numbers. And the company reported on their latest earning and they said that revenue came in at 680 million, which just barely missed the forecast of 683. So basically they came in 3.4 million dollars lower than expected. But don't forget, those are just expectations of analysts. But what you gotta focus on is the following. Roku reported third quarter revenue of $680 million, up 51% year over year and 5% quarter over quarter. The revenue growth was driven by its platform segment, which increased 82% year over year. Active accounts also increased and reached 56.4 million, up 23% year over year. And yes, they are also a victim of the whole supply chain issue and that did affect a little bit of their growth. However, guys, we gotta focus on this right here. They're up 51% year over year. That's a hell of a number. The increased users, that's a hell of a number. I mean, yes, you got a little bit of bad news, but I don't think that the bad news overweighs the good news. I think the good news is still way better than the bad news. So that's what I'm thinking. Again, this is just me, man. Some dope with a freaking computer looking at stupid numbers. And I think that this does not make sense at all. I think that the revenue growth, the subscriber growth, it's really good, actually. Not just pretty good. It's pretty damn good. So let me mix in a little bit of bad news as well. This came out a few weeks ago, and it says right here, YouTube is about to pull its apps from Roku and the fight is going all the way to Congress. That's right, you heard it. They're taking this all the way to Congress. So it says that Google said Thursday it would remove YouTube apps from the Roku app store on December 9th as the two sides fight over a new agreement. Now Roku claims Google asks for preferential treatment in search results as a condition to allow YouTube apps on Roku. And then Google came back and said those are false claims those are baseless claims that didn't happen however roku said that on a 2019 email from google that says completely different so they asked for that according to them and this is going to go all the way to congress so this is yet to be determined how it's going to play out so hopefully roku wins and they can keep going now adding to the bad news is the fact that roku came out and said that they are expecting a weak q4 so you know they kind of give a pretty weak outlook however man listen let me show you this beautiful chart right here if we step back a little bit okay let's step back look at this this thing was trading in the high fours almost 500 bucks and now you are getting it at a you know almost 200 dollar discount you know whatever that number is so yeah actually you're getting it at about a 200 dollars discount if you uh 279 379 479 yeah you know i mean give or take a couple bucks but who's really adding pennies here now i think and again guys this is just my stupid ass thinking out here okay thinking out loud if you will i think that by mid 2022 or even early 2022 the chart's gonna look something like this i think that we're gonna be trading somewhere around here possibly even to the 500 dollars range but again, it's just my personal opinion, man. So, you know, I, I'm looking at some call options, okay? And the call options look pretty good for the long term on this company, which means that investors feel bullish on this company, even though, yes, right now it might not seem like it's looking that way. But trust me, call options will tell you how good some of these investors feel about a company. So I personally think it's a great stock and it's a hell of a discount at 279 bucks, 280 bucks per share. 
This is one hell of a discount. You will regret not buying into this if you were looking to buy this. Again, I'm not here to change your mind. I'm not here to convince you. I'm here to just give you my thoughts on this company. I personally think this is a great buy. If you were looking to jump into this company and you weren't too sure around this, you know, three to four hundred dollar range, now you are getting it at a very sweet low price. Of course, it would have been nice to jump in it right here in the $20 range, but we didn't. So if you were thinking about buying this company, please first do your research, your own research, and please understand the risk that's involved when you trade securities. So guys, that is it for today. Just a quick video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please drop a like. And if you're brand new, please subscribe and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.